That's right, Juan. And Crystal, you know what? I must tell you, when I got this assignment this morning, I honestly thought reaction would be, no way do I need another charge on my cell phone bill. But when you learn all about this, it's a little bit more to it than that. This is the question I posed to the first four random people I spoke to in downtown Los Angeles today. So what do you think about the idea of a texting surcharge added to your cell phone bill? Before you answer, consider this. The surcharge would be used to help fund a program that helps low-income people afford a cell phone. Well, I think, why not? Brittany Bernard is a service coordinator for a company that helps provide services for people with special needs. I mean, why not do your extra part and just, you know, pay a little extra? Why not? It's not going to cost you that much. Haley McLaughlin is a student in Los Angeles. Having an open line of communication is really important for everybody and that uh, if it's something that wouldn't cost us much um, and would be helpful, then I wouldn't be against it. Echo Luna is a floral designer in downtown LA. More taxes, that already sounds bad to me, but I'm all for helping other people too. So I'm always for if the tax is going to help other people and not just going to administrative costs and other fun stuff like that, you know, um, then it's a good thing. Geraldo Gonzalez is a butcher. I will be uh, uh, with it if there were some better measurements towards, uh, towards the way that it's given to people. To make sure people get it really needed. Yeah. I think it's crazy. Consumer Watchdog President Jamie Court says the proposed texting surcharge is really a tax that should be proposed by state legislators who are elected, not state commissioners who are appointed by the governor. There should be a solution to providing low-cost phone service to poor people, and we support the Lifeline program. But having the Public Utility Commission unilaterally ram through a rule to tax us all in this very, uh, you know, subjective and private process is wrong. So what do you think about a proposed texting surcharge? Well, if you have strong opinions about it, you can get a hold of the Public Utilities Commission. You have plenty of time. They plan to vote on it next month. Let's go back to you.